Well, hi everyone. Welcome to Inventory Management Training in Three Minutes uh, Reorder Point. The reorder point is just a trigger that tells you that you need to replenish some of your stock. Now, on this di diagram here, I've just uh, simulated some stock of, uh, of yours, and we're looking for this line here, the reorder point. So when the stock is decreasing, it reaches this level here, and that's a trigger for you to say, I need to order some. And you order some of those on your supplier, um, and as the supplier's delivery lead time, the stock is decreasing, and hopefully the supplier delivers on time before your stock reaches zero. So the reorder point is a trigger to reorder. But you really need to know what you're doing in setting that reorder point. If you order late, you'll run out. If you order too early, you'll have too much in stock. Now, another trigger that you might use is periodic review. So have a look at one of the other three minute videos where I explain the use of periodic review. So let's look at real point on a diagram. So on this diagram, I have quantity on this axis here and I have time on this axis here. And we start off with some in stock and you're consuming some of these items. And it reaches this point here, which we determined as the reorder point level. And I've also on this diagram incorporated some safety stock. Uh, so this is if a supplier is late in delivery or your demand varies from normal, uh, that you've got something up your sleeve and you don't run out. So let's have a look. When the stock uh, reaches this point, uh, you place an order. Uh, uh, the supplier lead time later, the order is delivered. You have predetermined the reorder quantity and your stock moves from this level to here and then the cycle repeats and when the stock reaches the reorder point again the next order is replaced. So that's how uh, it looks on a diagram. How do you calculate it? Well the order point is simply the demand consumed during the lead time plus safety stock. Now or reorder point is the demand during the lead time plus safety stock. Now let's show you a little example. Let's assume that you're selling 100 units per day. Your lead time is 30 days. You've determined quite arbitrarily, look, I'll have a safety stock of five days, but that could be 10, could be 20, whatever you determine it to be. Now the reorder point, as we explained, is the demand during the lead time plus safety stock. Or, now the demand during the lead time is 100 units per day. Your lead time from your supplier is 30. So it's 100 multiplied by 30. Now it's plus your safety stock. You determined you want five days up your sleeve just in case. So five days at 100 per day is 500. So the reorder point is set at 3,500. Now there's another way of setting safety stock. Um, now hang in with me here, don't turn off. It's quite simple uh, and it's quite a useful way of um, calculating a safety stock. The safety stock is, called a, is, is calculated by a safety factor times standard deviation. Now the safety factor is a function of your required customer service level. So do you want a 90% customer service level, 95 and 99? You determine that uh, what service level you wish and we'll determine the safety factor. And standard deviation, again, is just a, me a, a measure of the variation in your customer demand. Again, refer to one of our other videos on that. So what you do with that is you look up a table. Now these are statistically valid tables and you determine, for instance, say you wanted 95% um, service level. So you're, you're happy with achieving the customer's demand 95% of the time. Now, if you had a standard deviation of demand, so your customer demand is up and down and the, the, you can calculate that at 50, then the service factor is 1.64. So your safety stock is 1.64 times 50 is 82. So you need to hold 82 units in safety stock to achieve a 95% customer service level with a standard deviation on demand of 50. Now, if, if, if you weren't happy with 95% customer service level and you want 99, that's fine. The service factor is now 2.33. Multiply by 50 because that doesn't change. So now we're suggesting you hold 116 in safety stock. So you can see the advantages of using a table such as this to determine 
your safety stock requirements and you can value that and see what the implication of having these high uh, customer service levels are on your inventory holding. So that's how simple a uh, reorder point is. It's the demand during the lead time plus the safety stock. It's just a trigger for you to reorder your stock. And finally, um, if you want more information on this, more videos, more information, please visit us on inventoryschools.com where we have a comprehensive range of training guides and spreadsheets that will teach you the other inventory management skills required. Things like periodic review, inventory metrics, inventory accuracy, cycle counting, ABC classification. And remember, with new skills, you'll stand out.